The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. All right, boys, it's that time again. It's beef or treat. Let's see what you guys are worthy enough to get some beef candy. Oh, yeah. Vanilla ice, real nice. Give him some. There you go. Yeah, I don't like what are you guys. supposed to I don't be? Like you. You're not us. I don't care you got a cute little beard and nice little hair. You know what? Give him the... Yeah, we don't need a scooper. Hey, we got a college boy here. Good body. Red... Red... Uh, I got red on the back of mine. Forget him. Forget him. Hey, what about you, buddy? You couldn't dress up? Come on. You couldn't even have tried? I want my candy. Oh, you're not getting candy. Next? Okay. Hey, he's a rapper guy. That's cool. Give him some. Give him some. Oh, cute. Madonna showed up. Oh, I like the lolly. I like the lolly. Oh, yeah, baby. Hey, when did Beetlejuice start skateboarding? I don't know. I like it, though. Give him some. Give him some. Hey, our boy Nico. Hey, man. You know what? I love beef candy. Give him all. Welcome to Championship Wrestling from Halloween. Welcome to Championship Wrestling from Halloween. Bimbo Jimbo Kincaid here with Timeless Levi Shapiro. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's the world's tallest man, Levi Shapiro, today, Bimbo. Well, world's tallest man, I got to ask, you know, it's one of my favorite holidays. Do you have any favorite Halloween candy? I can tell you what I don't like, and it's your favorite, the candy corn. What an absolute disgrace. <laughs> I, I don't know about that, but, you know, I was thinking about dressing as you for Halloween this year, but I figured the mask would just be too scary but we do have a very in-season special main event and timeless one i understand you have the inside track you know i talked to halston body a little bit before and he decided to make this a halston body bag match Ooh. what's a halston body bag match well it's going to be pretty chaotic all right we will just have to wait and see what that match entails let's take it to ringside trick or treat everybody The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 400 pounds, Rock God, Ricky Gibson, and Freak Nasty, Eddie Pearl, four minutes of heat. Lots of tricks and treats coming your way, and a trick and a treat in the way of tag team action to kick things off. Four minutes heat. I don't know about you guys, but what we just saw, beef candy is not the kind of candy I want when I go trick or treat. Certainly not. No one has that kind of sweet tooth, I don't think. That'll give you an upset stomach. That's worse than raisins. Ugh. And introducing their opponents at a combined weight of 395 pounds, the team of Patrick Fitzpatrick and VSK. Patrick Fitzpatrick and VSK, both out of Creative Pro in New York. New York, Halloween, often known as Devil's Night, but they're out here on the West Coast and looking for tag team action. This would be a big win. Things could be a little scary for them because four minutes of heat are an established team and tough to defeat. Certainly some mischief afoot in this ring. See who starts this thing off. Looks like it's gonna be the rock god, Ricky Gibson, and maybe, oh, they figure it out. It's going to be VSK. VSK again, the Heavyweight champion of Create a Pro. And no, nope, tag. Oh. Is that a tag or a high five? I think it's a high five. VSK and Patrick Fitzpatrick, longtime friends, workout buddies, training partners. Just a high five of support. Two guys tie right up immediately. Yes! Back and forth action here. We'll see VSK. Slick moves there. We didn't overdose on the uh, on the fun size Snickers or Kit Kats just yet. Moving in there pretty quickly. Look at that, going between the legs. Nice drop kick by VSK in the early going. And we'll see what kind of double team. They are good friends, training partners. Don't know how many times they've tagged together. And of course, double teaming is really the, the play of the day when it comes to four minutes of heat. Nice double team there into the slam by Patrick Fitzpatrick, who used to weigh 490 pounds. Talk about trick-or-treat candy, guys. Some fantastic mojo early on by VSK and Patrick Fitzpatrick. 
quick one. cover. Only a count of one. Ah, ah, ah. All right, count. Calm down. I like to count things. All right, tag is made. In comes Freak Nasty. Eddie Pearl, who's in the wrong part of town. And so far, i got to be impressed with the team of uh, Fitzpatrick and VSK. Side Russian leg sweep. Outside, inside comes VSK. VSK is a seasoned tag team competitor, but shoulders down on Eddie Pearl. No. That was impressive, man. Flying like he had a broomstick. But believe it or not, even though they've been friends for so long, VSK and Patrick Fitzpatrick, this is their first time teaming together against an established, incredibly cohesive tag team in four minutes of heat. They're doing a fantastic job of taking a page out of four minutes of heat's book with some of these double team tactics. Ooh, takes them to the outside. Look out, VSK. This guy's a scary athlete. Oh. Oh. But the suicide dive just to get him back inside where he wants him. Have you guys ever seen that before? Unique. Very unique. And now, oh, our, our referee distracted by Patrick Fitzpatrick. Dirty play by Rock God Ricky Gibson dropping the elbow. Elbow indeed looking for the cover this time. Scores with a two count. This is a very competitive matchup. That being said, on the flip side, do you know what a jack o lanterns favorite style of matchup is? Oh boy, Todd, I think you're gonna tell us. That would be a squash match. Uh, <laughs> well, I think, I think yes. Rock Out Ricky Gibson's trying to squash the head of VSK. Squash match. Not here. All right, we'll be back. More tag team action coming your way right after this. Ready for action in the squared circle. Stars from around the wrestling world. And we are witnessing a classic between two of the best. We have made history here tonight. Look at this atmosphere, incredible. We're gonna come out here and find out who the real man is. Yeah! yeah. Look at the pomp and circumstance. From coast to coast and around the globe. The history's gonna be made. Has your AC busted, computer crashed, appliance broken? Then you need ARW, American Residential Warranty. Hi, it's me, Anthony Sullivan. And yes, you've actually caught me at home relaxing because life's been pretty worry-free since I got coverage with American Residential Warranty. Home appliance repairs and replacement can cause stress and cost you over $3,000 per year. But ARW has home warranty plans starting at less than a dollar a day. My air conditioning broke on a Sunday. It was so hot, I called ARW and they came out and fixed it right away. You won't believe what ARW covers. Heating and air conditioning, washers and dryers, kitchen appliances, plumbing, water heaters, electrical systems, flat screens and laptops even pools and spas, and so much more. All plans are fully customizable and come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Call now and get a home security system free with any plan. Call American Residential Warranty. They'll get you covered. Call to find out which home warranty plan is right for you. Pulaski Kirkers sponsors this paid advertisement for legal services and is responsible for legal services. Attention! Have you or a loved one suffered from pigmentary maculopathy, which is a serious retinal injury? After taking the prescription drug Elmiron for interstitial cystitis or bladder pain syndrome? Call 1-800-943-3072. You may be entitled to significant compensation. In 2018, a researcher at the Emory School of Medicine linked Elmiron, a prescription drug that treats interstitial cystitis or bladder pain syndrome to maculopathy, which is sight-threatening and can cause an abrupt change of vision, difficulty adjusting to dim light, and difficulty reading. If you were prescribed Elmiron and suffer from damage to your vision, call our law firm for a free legal consultation you may be entitled to significant compensation. There are no fees unless we win your case and collect damages for you. Call 1-800-943-3072. That's 1-800-943-3072. Four minutes of heat. I spoke to them before the match today, and they told me that they are always together. They are on the same page no matter what. They're, they're, they've been traveling together. They, they hang out together. So they really know what each other are thinking at all times. Yeah, and, and going on tour together, presumably. I mean, they make the trek all the way from the Portland, Oregon area down here to the Ocean View Pavilion. So you got to think they have a lot of time to talk strategy oh. down here. Wow, and then into the German suplex. Bang, bang, play, playing a drum solo all over VSK. Oh, but Patrick Fitzpatrick in to break it up, coming to the aid of his longtime friend. They call that particular maneuver there the power jam, and uh, it was on the money, and look at that, wisely 
pulling him right over into their corner, guys. That Wrong very, part of town. That was very smart for him to try and get out. He just took a shot to the back of the head, which does a significant amount of damage. It's actually so devastating that it's not allowed in mixed martial arts competition. Tra trying to rearrange the face. Still to come, of course, later on in our main event. It will be a Halston body bag match here on Championship Wrestling from Halloween as rock god Ricky Gibson goes for the cover, trying to plant him six feet under the air after the suplex. It'll be the Killer Bay, Heather Monroe. But we don't know who Nico Marquez has in mind. He said it's gonna be it's gonna be somebody very special, very scary, and we'll see what happens in our main event later later on. Well, We're seeing a lot of choking attacks and attacks on the throat of VSK, and it's doing a fantastic job of really taking the wind out of the sails of VSK, so he can't get the energy to start mounting a comeback. Okay. Choking very effective over the years by the likes of Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers, as he rack they rack up their victims. Very true. It's it's certainly a tactic, but now VSK looking for some kind of leverage to shift oh. the momentum. I think a ghost. What? I think a ghost got involved there and tripped up Eddie Pearl. Is the ring haunted? There is a ghost among us here. Poltergeist, perhaps, having some fun. Oh. Poltergeists are normally fun-loving spirits, guys. Our official didn't see the tag. Now, oh, oh, VSK, big kick to rock out Ricky Gibson. Oh, two fresh men in though, Fitzpatrick and Eddie Pearl, and and Fitzpatrick. Even though we lost all that weight, he's still a very, very powerful. A uh, competitor in there. You can't sleep on that power, and you see wow. it there. Elevates him up. That's one thing about guys that used to be really big that have dropped down in size. They're significantly stronger than they appear because they've been moving so much weight around their entire life. We call it big guy strength. Empties the quiver with the arrow there, that big elbow in the corner. Uh-oh. Going for a swing. Springboard oh. into the stomp. That's one of his favorites. He's put a lot of way, uh, people away with that. Has uh, Fitzpatrick. Here's the cover. One, two. Only two. Wow, Ricky Gibson breaking it up and delivering a fl fresh blow to VSK. Patrick Fitzpatrick did a fantastic job of really damaging Pearl there, but he had his back to the corner, and four minutes he was able to jump in and break up the pinfall. Well, you gotta get somebody out of there, but double teaming is really what brought four minutes of heat to the dance. See what they've got in mind here. Fitzpatrick oh. trying to fight him off. Oh, oh. almost up. successful, yes. Now oh. just contending with Eddie Pearl at the moment. Fitzpatrick's got to take advantage. Blind tag was made. It was invisible to the four minutes of heat. Invisible man, you might say. Frog splash. Oh, oh, no. Things going from bad to worse. VSK dodges at the last moment. Coming unraveled like the wrappings of a mummy. Oh Into my the gosh. cover here. Is he oh. going to get him? No. What a shot. VSK impressive, guys. VSK living by the motto, whatever it takes, and he's gonna do it right now to Rain secure Buster. victory. No. This is quick, we're in the Ocean View Pavilion, not Elm Street, but this is quickly turning into a nightmare for four minutes of heat, guys. And they're a fixture of the tag team division here. Uh-oh. Four minutes of heat does such a fantastic job of separating both guys from their tag team partner, doing damage to them, and that's exactly what's happening to them right now. So it's 14 hour car rides, that'll do it. There we go, power ballad. Can Freak Nasty crawl into the cover and get the one, two, three? Yes, he can! Oh. Here are your winners, four minutes of heat. Let's take a look back at all the thrilling action brought to you by Prime Time Live. And here we go, guys, back and forth matchup. Chaotic at times, but in the, in the end, that power ballad by four minutes of heat to score another big victory. And you could see Patrick Fitzpatrick just out of reach. He was moving slower than the villain in a slasher film. Just couldn't get to the breakup in time. Clint Armstrong standing by to get a word with the winners. Hey, we don't really need you here. Back in March of 2020, when the pandemic shut down the world, we saw two paths that people went down. The first one is people sat back, relaxed, and realized there's nothing they could do. The other path is the path that we chose. We stepped up, we put in the work, and we did what we have to do to get to the next level. See, it's really cute to write down in your journal what your goals are. It's really cute to post on Twitter how much you want to be a champion. The difference is, 
Eddie Pearl, Ricky Gibson, four minutes of heat. We put in the work. We did whatever it takes. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, you do whatever it takes. And that is what makes four minutes of heat the hottest thing going today. All right, wrestling fans, John Roberts here alongside this man, Watts. How's the knee, man? We, we haven't seen you really since, uh, since that vicious attack from Miguel. We've been concerned. It's great to see you back here again. The knee's fine. The knee is more than fine, Miguel. It's going to take a lot more than that to get rid of me. And I tell you what, I hear you're making challenges. Miguel, I've come to collect. You want some of this? Come get it. Get the ShamWow mask made in Germany and the USA. It's made with the same high-tech material used to make professional grade masks. But the thing is, you can't wash these. ShamWows are machine washable, reusable, and disposable masks. Come on, you're wasting them like you're a billionaire at a nightclub. Check this out. ShamWows are infused with real zinc to help fight and stop bacteria and other microbes. It's light, breathable, and has a cotton inner layer for comfort. Almost all cloth masks are made with woven fibers, which allow airborne germs and viruses to get through easily. But ShamWow is non-woven and prevents microbes from entering, keeping you safe and sound. So you get it all. Comfort, zinc, reusability, and the best protection. Most masks sold on TV are made overseas. I love imported products too, but quality-wise, <laughs> go with the USA. And you save the environment. Forget the environment. Save yourself. Get your ShamWow mask with zinc for only $29.99 plus free shipping. But if you call now, you'll get a second ShamWow mask free. Just pay for processing. Call 1-800-398-1708 or go to buyshamwowmask.com and enter promo code MASK41. Order now. Do you use Viagra or Cialis? Have you been thinking about trying Viagra or Cialis? What if we can promise you the same results for less than $3 a pill? If you're paying $20 or more a pill for Viagra, you're getting taken to the cleaners. Our pill delivers the exact same results for less than $3. We'll do the math for you. You'll save more than $16 a pill for the same results. Want more? We'll give you 40 blue pills or 40 yellow pills for $99 and add four more pills free. You save more than $500. Stop overpaying for expensive prescriptions. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know what to do next. You need to call now and get your 44 pills for just $99. Stop overpaying for Viagra. Call us anytime, day or night, and start saving big money for the exact same results. Have your credit card ready. Ordering is fast and easy with your pills delivered to your door in a non-marked package. Call now. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and my passion has always been to help each and every one of you get the best sleep of your life. TV has helped my pillow become the amazing company that it is today. So my employees and I want to thank you with some of our best prices ever. Go to MyPillow.com right now and click on TV specials. You'll get deep discounts on my pillows mattress topper sheets, and so much more. For example, you can get body pills regular $89.99 for only $29.99 with your promo code. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Agua Dulce, California, weighing in at 350 pounds, Sweet Robin Shaw. I'm not sure if... Robin Shaw is dressed up for Halloween, or that's just his gear. But given those glasses, apparently Saturday night's all right for fighting. Absolutely. When you have glasses so large and a hat so small, you got to hope it works somehow into his strategy for this matchup. And introducing his opponent from Killa Hills, 10304, weighing in at 242 pounds, the Dirty Daddy, Chris. Dickinson! Chris Dickinson, we've seen him on primetime live. He's absolutely been mowing down the competition, and he has taken umbrage with the friendship farm, far more notably, gentleman Jervis. But I'm sure he has no problem seeing a little bit of Jervis when he looks across the ring at Sweet Robin Shop. Well, certainly, even think about how different these two competitors approach the ring. You know, Robin Shaw came out highly decorated to the nines, if I may say, ready to celebrate the Halloween festivities. Chris Dickinson came right to the ring, all business. No flash, no show, nothing. 
Does Dickinson have did a fantastic job of waiting there, finding his openings, and being able to get behind Sweet Robin Shaw. The best place you can be when you're fighting a guy significantly larger than you is when you're on his back, when all his weapons are facing away from you. And size was a factor there. You know, Dickinson tried to tried to pull. I don't. I don't see this happening. Oh, this is going to be a big mistake. Boy, he said, you were mean to Jervis, give me a hug. You know, let's let bygones be bygones. And that was an opening, but look at, there's some power on display by Sweet Robin Shaw takes Dickinson off his feet, guys. We're seeing a little bit of anger out of Sweet Robin Shaw, and I'm actually kind of liking it. He's trying to go head to head with Dickinson, who is a bad dude. Sweet Robin Shaw, though, he has to fight for the honor of his tag team partner, but it looks like he might be fighting a limp. Dickinson has probably watched some of the past matches. We saw four minutes of heat do a number on Robin Shaw's knee. And now we see Dickens attacking the exact same knee. Yeah, and, and that led to victory for four minutes of heat. And, you know, the big man, all his offense is power game. So if you get him horizontal, going to be tough for him to get back up. Dickinson just destroying that entire leg, hamstring, quad, quadricep, all points in between. Those blood-stained kick pads fitting on All Hallows Eve. So he's doing a fantastic job of keeping Robin Shaw down and continuing the onslaught of attacks, whether it's a submission or a strike to that knee. I'd like to see him keep Robin Shaw on his back. If Robin does not get up, I, I could see him not getting up in this match getting finished. He might. I mean, this, if he can turn over a half crab here, it could very well be it, guys. And, and if Shaw can't get to a vertical base, it takes everything out of his playbook. Oh, this could do it. This could do it, Alyssa. Oh, is Sweet Robin Shaw gonna tap out right here? Look at all that that torque on the knee, all of the pressure on the spine. It's got to be getting to Robin Shaw, but he's crawling to the ropes. Crawling no, like a zombie there, gets to the ropes to break the hole, but not breaking the hole. Look at this. Come oh. on. Getting what he can out of that submission for the extra seconds that he could have it. And we know Dickinson has legit submission skills because he's been working with Josh Barnett. And Josh Barnett is an old school catch wrestler trained by Billy Robinson. It doesn't get more OG than that. Yeah, the, the, the training, you know, of the of the likes of the babyface assassin. Now we see the strikes. So now there's there's no holes in the game of Dickinson now. If he adds submissions, I mean he was scary Whoa. enough. Look out here, choke slam! By Sweet Robin Shaw, resurrecting himself, trying to crawl out from under that great Sweet victory! Ooh. He got him! But now Dickinson, rolling to the outside of the ring. This is the second time, the last on Primetime Live, where Sweet Robin Shaw has hit Sweet Victory and hasn't been able to capitalize on a pinfall. Just can't get fast enough to his opponent. Something else worth noticing, this is probably the first time we've seen Dickinson this damage. That was a big shot. Luckily, he's on the outside of the ring. He's got a little time to recover. I agree with you, a smart use of his environment there and rolling back in and into a Uranagi. How about this from Sweet Robin Shaw digging down deep, finding a way. If he can land something big here, guys, use all that body weight. He might be able to put away the Dirty Daddy, oh. take away that undefeated record here in the United Wrestling Network. So we're seeing more and more struggle out of Robin Shaw using that left knee. Oh my what? goodness. Oh, off the Look top at no, this. No, no. Oh, oh, a Death Valley driver. Unreal, rest in peace. Here is your winner, Chris Dickinson. Are you kidding me, guys? Let's take a look back at the action here at the finish. Sweet Robin Shaw had everything going his way, but in, unfortunately put himself in about the only position that the Dirty Daddy could have hit that DVD. A super precarious position. Dickinson managed to capitalize. The filthy father stands victorious in the ring. What an absolutely incredible win. He for sure sent a big message to Jervis tonight with this performance over Robin Shaw. The sweet victory was the turning point, but Dickinson found a way. He continues to haunt the rosters of the United Wrestling Network. All right, wrestling fans, John Roberts here alongside Richie Slade and Flex McCallion, collectively known as Beef wait, wait, wait. Candy. And how did you know that it was us? Yeah. I mean, it's you, you're just wearing cat ears. No, but do you know what kind of cats we are? Uh, domestic short hair? I don't like the word short, we don't like the word short. Look, look, look. We are a very special breed of cat that's raised on Gaines Pasture. It's a rare breed known as beef cats. Yeah. yeah. You know about those, right? Uh, yeah, didn't they go extinct? Yeah, do you know the year that they went extinct? Uh, 
1936. Yeah. Yeah. No, you idiots are not real. We're fake. We're just dressed as cats. But what isn't fake is we are the glue that holds this show together. That's pulling Halloween to championship wrestling from Hollywood. And we are here to dispose of the rotten meat that's spoiled in the United Wrestling Network. So it's time that you indulge in the hardiest collaboration known as beef candy. I got a special treat for you. What are you doing? What? Beef or treat, baby. Oh, open up. Yeah. It's so delicious. <laughs> If you suffer from everyday aches and pains, turn to the solution millions have trusted to help relieve pain for over 16 years. Omega XL is a powerful, drug-free, natural anti-inflammatory supplement. The secret is, it's sourced from green lip muscles found only in New Zealand that are super rich with over 30 healthy fatty acids, shown in decades of research to reduce pain caused by inflammation. It's small and easy to swallow, potent and effective. Call or click now to get our special offer. Two bottles of Omega XL, a $140 value for only $39.95. But you must act now. Get the ShamWow mask made in Germany and the USA. It's made with the same high-tech material used to make professional grade masks. But the thing is, you can't wash these. ShamWows are machine washable, reusable, and disposable masks. Come on, you're wasting them like you're a billionaire at a nightclub. Check this out. ShamWows are infused with real zinc to help fight and stop bacteria and other microbes. It's light, breathable, and has a cotton inner layer for comfort. Almost all cloth masks are made with woven fibers, which allow airborne germs and viruses to get through easily. But ShamWow is non-woven and prevents microbes from entering, keeping you safe and sound. So you get it all. Comfort, zinc, reusability, and the best protection. Most masks sold on TV are made overseas. I love imported products too, but quality-wise, go with the USA. And you save the environment. Forget the environment. Save yourself. Get your ShamWow mask with zinc for only $29.99 plus free shipping. But if you call now, you'll get a second ShamWow mask free. Just pay for processing. Call 1-800-398-1708 or go to buyshamwowmask.com and enter promo code MASK41. Order now. If the coronavirus can cause this, or this, what's going to happen when the next crisis occurs? Would it lead to this? Or even this? What do you think? What do you think the next devastating economic event is going to be? And what do you think is going to happen to the value of paper currency? That's going to be worth a lot less. Which means your savings, retirement funds, your IRAs, they're going to be less too. But you can protect yourself right now by calling Great American Gold. They can help you protect what you have by owning gold and precious metals. Because when stocks go down, the value of gold goes up. Precious metals provide a safe haven when the world is in turmoil. You're going to be protected against market crashes, inflation, and world events. So call Great American Gold right now for a free consultation to get a free investor guide, free investor kit, and up to $3,000 in bonus medals, too. Call 1-800-593-1848. 1-800-593-1848. Welcome back, everyone, to Championship Wrestling from Halloween. Here are your hosts, Beef Candy. Introducing... Weighing in at 14 and a half slabs. He was raised on Gaines Pasture. I give you the sexiest beef cat, Richie Slade! Meow. And introducing his opponent, from Lafayette, Louisiana, weighing in at 203 pounds, Showtime, Jordan Cruz. Here we see the opposition for Richie Slade, Jordan Cruz, known as Showtime. You know who used to say it's Showtime, folks? Tell me, Todd. Uh, that would be Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, oh, Beetlejuice. come on, what are you doing, Blake Troop? Well, what are they doing in the ring? Good beef candies, throwing, what are they, kitty chew toys at, at Jordan Cruz? Some sort of protein pops or something. Here we go. Well, we will see. Is he going to wrestle with the ears on? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Maybe not for long. There go the ears. And you might need to hey, call ears, ears, nose, baby. and throat doctor. He got the clothesline. Oh, and Flex has got a live mic. I'm sure this will all go according to plan. Oh, goodness. Who gave Flex a live mic? Don't touch the face. Jordan Cruz did not look entertained by Meat Candy's antics early on in the Halloween. Well, and look at this, he was going, Cruz was going for that all-state slam, you know, that variation, and Flex McKillian saving his man there. Oh! Yeah, 
Yeah, we saw Jordan Cruz going looking for the finish early on. He came out guns blazing. He's getting a little bit of damage taken now. But Slade was quick to pounce on that opportunity and now freaking holy hell on Jordan Cruz. Yeah, well thanks to Flex, this cat landed on his paws and that wouldn't have been the case without the assist. Well, having Richie Slade start to get the upper hand, he's got it. Well, that was a nasty pinpoint knee there, though, Blake, dropping it down, all the body weight down. And now, oh, look at this. Grind that face down, just like a piece of meat, just grind it away. Just clawing, scratching. So Flex doesn't want anybody to touch the face of Richie Slade. Leave that marinade all over his face, don't do it. Apparently, Slade can do whatever he wants in terms of his opposition. Richie Slade is known for unprettying his opponents inside the Championship yeah, Wrestling Hollywood ring. Yeah, Big belly to back suplex into the cover. Two, three, eight! Third man on our broadcast team, Flex McKellian, three, right? for this three. one, apparently. Like Guess so. Pounds. Flex McKellian never has a shortage of something to say. Let's get it. Come on. Hopefully he just stays on the microphone for the rest of the match and doesn't end up How'd that taste, again. baby? How'd that taste? Come on, man. Boy, look at his bullying tactics, but Jordan Cruz giving it right back. And Cruz has dealt with bullies before. Again, he faced Chris Dickinson, the Dirty Daddy, on Primetime Live on pay-per-view. But being absolutely mauled here, I mean, like a big cat here and then on the outside as well. Give me a break. It's one thing to stand face-to-face, toe-to-toe with the filthy father, Chris Dickinson. But we You're okay, have, baby. You look great. You look fantastic. A, a second, what was it, a beef kitten? Oh to contend with, it kind of ruined your odds. Did, was, was Richie Slade having the official check over his face? Making sure it was uh, Hey, still... he said, did you like that one? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, you're dead. That was great. Great flex, wonderful. Look out here, ooh. Cross body variation, but That's comes it, with a form. Four, like that switch up. One, Just when we see Jordan Cruz man. starting to try and build a little bit of momentum there, he gets countered by Richie Slade in the corner. He's getting a physical beatdown and a verbal beatdown here with Flex on the outside. You gotta wonder how much that can get into the head I say yes. of an opponent. You just have this constant yammering from, from Coach Flex. Oh, look at him crying. Oh my God, it's like he's getting euthanized. Not just the constant talking, but the one time he went for his finisher and came very close to getting it had Flex not interfered. And now you saw Richie Slade there biting. I think he's taking this whole cat a, a little bit too far. Not sure exactly the uh, the breed breakdown. Don't let him get up, Richie. Come on, keep it down. They got claws. Sure, Dutton looking for it again. Looking for that all-state slam. Maybe going to the will, but now the athleticism on display. Nice drop kick there by Showtime Jordan Cruz, trying to get back into this matchup. That was a beautiful adjustment there by Cruz. He saw the counter coming, slid under, and hit him with the big drop kick. Wow, wow. beautiful Northern Light suplex oh. with the bridge. Oh, but not enough, not enough to keep down Richie Slade. That was a fantastic pin right off the slam. I'd like to see more guys utilize that. I think a lot of guys miss their pinfall because they take too long getting on top for a pin after a big slam. I tell you, that is a beautiful bridge you could have walked over. Executed perfectly now up into that pump handle. He really likes the power slam out. McKeel, oh, like a ramrod. Ho, oh, ho, ho. Into the power slam. Wow, what strength there by Cruz to hold on to that original. Don't you maneuver. touch me, baby. Don't you touch me. I bet that was a good feeling for Cruz, getting one off on flex there. And that might just be the beginning of it. Look at this. Cruz going up top. Flex now. I, he, he hits him. Oh, no need to go trick or treating because Flexo just bashed the dome of Cruz yeah. with a bunch of protein candy. That's lots it, of treats, but That's lots it. of candy tricks. Drop, baby. The there it candy is, drop. the candy drop. Two. Uh, Cruz didn't stand a chance there against two your opponents. your winner, Richie Slade. Victory there by Richie Slade, but he had a little bit of help. You look and now, stand the ground. Man. Give me a break. All right. Hey, look, We've let's, got things let's to let's do. Let's give old Jordan Cruz a, uh, let's give him some two snacks, shall we? He's okay. He's John okay. John Roberts standing by. It. Enough. Enough of, of uh, beef candy. John Roberts was standing by him. earlier today the with the television worms in your mouth. All right, Trick or Treat Wrestling fans, John Roberts here alongside Howdy Price and the man who defends the United Television Championship for the first time next week, Mr. Levi Shapiro. And Levi, Howdy, you know why I'm here. You know what I want to ask. Who are you defending that title against next week? <laughs> <laughs> Is there something I don't know? 
No, there's many things that you don't know. But one thing you're definitely not going to know today is who Levi Shapiro's first offense is going to be. Now, you're going to be spoiled tonight with all the sweet treats of you going door to door pretending to be a child. All you got to do is shave your face. But now, next week, we're going to give you the big boy stuff. We're going to give you the grown-up sweets. <laughs> and that's going to be the first title defense of Levi Shapiro and Howdy Price. <laughs> Happy Howdy Weed! <laughs> Next week, Levi Shapiro defends the United Television Championship for the first time. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and my passion has always been to help each and every one of you get the best sleep of your life. TV has helped my pillow become the amazing company that it is today. So my employees and I want to thank you with some of our best prices ever. Go to MyPillow.com right now and click on TV specials. You'll get deep discounts on my pillows, mattress topper sheets, and so much more. For example, you can get body pills regular $89.99 for only $29.99 with your promo code. Millions have trusted Omega XL to relieve their pain for the last 15 years. No amount of money would have me put my reputation on the line to endorse a product. This product works. Omega XL, a one-of-a-kind anti-inflammatory supplement formulated to help relieve pain caused from inflammation in your back, knees, neck, and joints. Since I've been taking Omega XL, I feel like a new man. I get up in the morning and I'm ready for the day. Omega XL is not fish oil. The secret is it's sourced from green-lipped mussels only found in the pristine waters of New Zealand. It contains a blend of over 30 fatty acids compared to common fish oil. It would take 10 fish oil capsules to get the same benefits of one Omega XL. Why don't I spend your money on something that works. I mean, this works. Omega XL has sold for $70, but today we reduce the price to $39.95. Call now to receive Larry's special offer, a second bottle free, a value of $140 for just $39.95. But you must call now. And if it didn't work, I wouldn't be back in it. Attention, states are now requiring you to always wear a face mask in public. Stop wasting money on disposable masks you throw away every day. Introducing Copper Shape, the smart technology copper-infused mask that is reusable, machine washable, lightweight, and comfortable. Copper is one of the oldest, most effective antibacterial, antiviral substances on Earth. Now you can maximize safety while harnessing all the power of copper. Call or go online now and order your Copper Shape reusable face mask for as little as $9.99. They ship immediately from the USA. Copper Shape's breathable form-fitted design gives you all-day comfort with the properties of copper-infused fabric designed to fit everyone. To order, call now and get your own Copper Shape face mask for as low as $9.99, and the shipping is free. You can save over $30 with this special TV offer. Call now or go online at GetCopperShape.com. They are not sold in stores, ships immediately, and are fully guaranteed. So call now. Welcome back to Championship Wrestling from Halloween. Clint Armstrong here with... B-H-K? That's me, man. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Because a Halloween costume is the only way that you're ever going to see this no good, low life, evil clone version of me ever again. Happy Halloween, by the way. Thank you. After a lifetime of tag team wrestling, I've had to go back and get myself into shape for singles action. That means no more Futurama, no more Ghostbusters on PS2, and you're gonna find out no cartoons and no video games make BHK something something. And there you take a look at it. There's the Halston body bag. How about that message? Look at that, reserved for Nico. Reserved for Nico Marquez, Halston Body, you know, designed this body bag with a special message. The following contest is a Halston Body Bag match, where the only way to win is to seal your opponent in the body bag. Introducing first, being accompanied to the ring by Halston Body, she is the Killer Bay, Heather Monroe. After all of the tumultuousness going on in the women's division, Halston Body designed this body bag after Nico Marquez tried to cancel the entire division. Halston will also be designing the soon to be revealed United Wrestling Network Women's Championship. I can't wait to see his handiwork on that. Yeah, that attempt, that reminds me, what's Dracula and Nico Marquez have in common? Oh boy, Todd, go ahead. They both suck, ha ha ha. You better be careful, you're gonna get fired. 
Heather's opponent's been shrouded in mystery. Who's it gonna be? Who did Nico pick? And introducing her opponent from San Ana Fria, California, she is the equal opportunity ass kicker, Ruby Rays. Oh my goodness, one, two, Ruby's coming for you. The equal opportunity ass kicker, I think guys, has been destined by Nico to be, I guess, the equal opportunity assassin. Ruby Ray, someone that has made history here in the United Wrestling Network, the first and only woman to ever enter the red carpet rumble. She was virtually undefeated during her time in the United Wrestling Network. And this is Nico Marquez's secret weapon against Heather Monroe. I'll tell you what, nightmares are made out of the same stuff that Ruby Ray's is. No question, paying a little homage to Freddy Krueger. And it might turn into a serious nightmare for the Killer Bay. Look at the the expression on Ruby Ruby's face. I think referee asking her to take off that that Freddy Krueger grow. I mean, I don't think there's a lot of rules in a Halston body bag matchup, but apparently there, there's some that are up to discretion. And again, the only way to win this match, guys, is to put your opponent inside the Halston body bag and zip it up. Oh, Ruby, quick firing off an attempt. Heather Monroe, though, fighting back with all of her might. Well, Heather's been fighting for herself, fighting for the division. You know, we, as you mentioned, we found out as well that not only did Nico Marquez not have the authority to cancel the division, but there will be a, uh, a, women, a United Women's Championship as well. And you'll remember the warning of Heather when it comes and using her assets here to Nico's contracts that he's been putting out there. Nico Marquez is absolutely dangerous. The way he can word things, the way he can twist things, we saw what those contracts mean. We don't want anyone to fall. Oh, Heather going for the body bag already, but Heather Monroe issued the warning. Do not sign anything Nico puts in front of you. You don't want to end up in a predicament like CeCe Chanel, who is at the bidding of Nico Marquez. Yeah, basically a hired hand, Chanel, and a hired gun here Talk about contracts. Nico has basically put a contract Ooh. out on the career of Heather Monroe. Some nasty stuff here early on by Ruby Ray's Blake. Ruby's definitely come out here and she's putting her hands all over Heather Monroe. If Nico Marquez can't stop the women's division, then he's going to try and cripple it by bringing a hired gun like Ruby Ray's in here to do some serious damage to Heather Monroe. Oh my gosh, but Ruby, more than just a hired gun, you know that expression, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life? Ruby enjoys things like this, but I don't think she enjoyed being tripped out over the top rope. Well, she was the only woman to ever compete in the red carpet rumble. If she was in it again, she would have been out right there, eliminated, low bridge by the Killer Bay. We saw the Killer Bay use her environment as a weapon against the previously unstoppable Camille on Primetime Live and dished out a lot of punishment in the process. Now head scissors takedown and Reyes goes down again. Reyes, of course, was also very effective on pay-per-view on Primetime Live, defeating CC Chanel. CC Chanel and now, Heather Monroe, though, like you said, using all of the uh, elements that she can, the best way to incapacitate someone like Ruby Ray's double your size is to knock her out on the concrete. Uh -oh. Getting She's awfully close to that Halston body bag here, Blake. And that's the only way this thing can end. There, you can see there's no counts, guys. There's no count outs, no disqualifications. The only, what do you have to do, Blake, to completely incapacitate an opponent enough to get him inside that Halston body you know, bag? I would say you're looking at a knockout or choking somebody completely unconscious for the amount of time you're gonna need to slide their body all the way inside that bag and zip it up. And out here is where you can find many weapons to create a knockout possibility, including a big forearm shot there by Ruby Ray's, that post. You know, if she takes, that's what she's thinking, that's what Ray's is thinking. Oh, into the cobwebs around the post. That's gonna bring a whole new, a whole new meaning to clear the cobwebs. A couple shots here. And impervious to pain, apparently, is Ruby Ray's. Watch out. Ooh, Ooh thought better herself. of it. Oh, oh. man. Heather Monroe's gonna have to do a better job of utilizing the things in the environment to start attacking Ruby. If she continues to try and just go head to head with Ruby, she's gonna, she's and gonna, gonna continue taking damage. Oddly enough, that's a similar move that Heather used against Camille on pay-per-view, running her into the post, 
and Ruby took a gaze, a glare, over to that body bag momentarily, but I think wants to dish out a little more punishment first. Again, you can only imagine what, what Nico Marquez would have told Ruby Reyes to do to the Keller Bay. I was just thinking the same thing. A win here is not all I think Nico Marquez is looking for. I think he is trying to have something bad happen to Heather Monroe because he went and found the biggest and baddest girl that he could to get in the ring with Heather Monroe tonight. You're not, you're not kidding. This main event, Halston body bag matchup. Again, no pinfalls, no submissions. The only way to win, put your opponent in that Halston body bag and you have to zip it all the way up, lock them inside and seal their fate. Yes, indeed. We don't often see Ruby Rays up top and this might be a, a huge opportunity. I don't know if Heather Monroe can muster the strength. It would take one hell of an effort. Oh, it just gets oh. shrugged off by Ruby Reigns. It's a dangerous place to get into a fist fight up there on the top ropes because somebody is going to come tumbling down. I think only in a Freddy Krueger type dreamscape could somebody muster the strength to superplex Ruby Reigns in the form that Heather Monroe was looking to do it. And again, look at this, blatant oh choke, but look at no warning, no admonishment because it's perfectly legal in a Halston body bag match. This matchup continues, both Heather Monroe Ruby Rays taking each other to task, but who will go in the body bag? We'll find out after this. Pulaski Kirkers sponsors this paid advertisement for legal services and is responsible for legal services. Attention, have you or a loved one suffered from pigmentary maculopathy, which is a serious retinal injury? After taking the prescription drug Elmiron for interstitial cystitis or bladder pain syndrome? Call 1-800-943-3072. You may be entitled to significant compensation. In 2018, a researcher at the Emory School of Medicine linked Elmiron, a prescription drug that treats interstitial cystitis or bladder pain syndrome to maculopathy, which is sight-threatening and can cause an abrupt change of vision, difficulty adjusting to dim light, and difficulty reading. If you were prescribed Elmiron and suffer from damage to your vision, call our law firm for a free legal consultation you may be entitled to significant compensation. There are no fees unless we win your case and collect damages for you. Call 1-800-943-3072. That's 1-800-943-3072. If the coronavirus can cause this, or this, what's going to happen when the next crisis occurs? Would it lead to this, or even this? What do you think? What do you think the next devastating economic event is going to be? And what do you think is going to happen to the value of paper currency? That's going to be worth a lot less. Which means your savings, retirement funds, your IRAs, they're going to be less too. But you can protect yourself right now by calling Great American Gold. They can help you protect what you have by owning gold and precious metals. Because when stocks go down, the value of gold goes up. Precious metals provide a safe haven when the world is in turmoil. You're going to be protected against market crashes, inflation, and world events. So call Great American Gold right now for a free consultation. to get a free investor guide, free investor kit, and up to $3,000 in bonus medals, too. Call 1-800-593-1848. 1-800-593-1848. Broken refrigerator? $2,500. Busted air conditioning? $4,000. Get an American Residential Home Warranty Plan, and when a covered appliance or system breaks, we'll repair it or replace it. Why let a major appliance or system breakdown wipe out your savings? Or deal with the headache of finding quality service people? Their service is great. You can call them 24 hours a day. ARW is so professional. They handled my claim right away. Get a home security system free with any plan. Call American Residential Warranty. They'll get you covered. Welcome back everyone to our main event, Halston body bag match in which the only way to win, put your opponent in the body bag, seal it up, zip it all the way up. We welcome you back to the main event of championship wrestling from Halloween. It's about to be championship wrestling from beyond the grave. Look at this, we got the body bag on the outside. You have Halston body who's, we can't discount the fact that with no count outs, no disqualifications, he could play a role in, oh, but now Heather Monroe caught up. Second time or so that Heather Monroe has tried to utilize the top rope to get an advantage. And that's a sound strategy, Blake, I would think against a bigger opponent. But she's been taken out of her game plan at every turn by the monstrous Ruby Rays. I think Heather Monroe's doing the right thing by trying to find ways she can utilize the environment to help her against Ruby Rays. Ruby is just so big and tough, she's able to come oh, no, back. No, 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 no! Oh, oh my gosh, is she Heather! she going, wow. 
trying that to not put her call. not put her in the body bag, but through the body bag and the table. That wouldn't get you a win, but it certainly would do what you got to do to put your opponent out. Heather pounding away on Ruby Rays to at least weaken her enough to escape, but Ruby Rays was trying to smash her like a pumpkin. Rolling Ruby Rays now towards the outside. A precarious position here for both Ruby Rays and Heather Monroe. Two competitors that you think would certainly factor into competition for the newly minted women's title when that happens. Oh, look at this, shot after shot. Oh, Nico Marquez saying that he gets what he pays for as Ruby Rays destroys Heather Monroe. It looked like she was trying to carve her up like a jack-o'-lantern with those, with those lariats. And that's what we talked about, Blake, that really is a hired gun. Try here not just to win, but to take out the Keller Bay. Don't tell me a, a pile driver on the apron. The Keller Bay finds a way to fight on and get out of there. Whoever loses this thing might not be celebrating Halloween, but All Souls Day tomorrow. Back and forth action here, guys, in our main event. If you can see the fight within Heather Monroe, she rallied the troops against Nico Marquez, brought together the women's division that Nico Marquez was trying to end. And you got to imagine that's a target on you. Someone Heather Ooh. or someone Nico wants to uh -oh. silence. Swing and a miss. I, I totally agree with you. But now the Killer Bay hitting hard and heavy on that apron. We know how hard that is, and maybe instincts. But the Killer Bay rolling back and rolling away from the Halston body bag. Definitely rolling away from the dangerous place they were both on the apron, right next to that table. I thought somebody might have been going off the apron and through the table. In Zaguri by the Killer Bay, showing a whole lot of heart. She's been fighting for herself. She's been fighting for the women's division. You know, th this is a more gutsy Heather Monroe, a more driven Heather Monroe. Before it was the, you can't wrestle here. Now Heather Monroe is always ready for a fight. She better be ready for a fight. She's in there with the baddest women in the division, Ruby Rays. And think about the fact, Heather can't be the queen of the women's division at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood if there is no women's division. That's right, and that, you know, that was almost the case. Uh-oh, uh -oh. teetering here on the brink of disaster. Oh, no, 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 no. Full head of steam. Oh, oh and oh, right on the gosh. table, it does not break. And it gets absolutely laid out on the slab like she's in Frankenstein's lab. Bad, bad. Stuff here for the Killer Bay. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine the impact that Heather Monroe's spine just absorbed? She better get herself off that table or Ruby's going to come crashing down on top of her. Oh, no, no, no. I don't even want to think about that. Man, she hit so hard on that table just with an absolute thud. No, 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 no. You, why did you put this in oh, the atmosphere? Oh, A gosh. Full senton and the table doesn't give an inch. Oh gosh, Heather Monroe absolutely reeling. Ruby though feeling the impact as well. Halston body checking. And, and, and Blake, when you, when you take a shot on that like that on the ground where there's no give, nothing to absorb the shot. I gotta think that's gotta just multiply it tenfold. Into the, you know, I would say into the cover. I mean, it's just instinct, but there is no covers here. Now the full mount. And vicious, vicious ground and pound by the equal opportunity assassin brought to you by Nico Marquez. But now Halston body up on the apron trying to tell the referee to check on. Oh, oh no! What in the world? The official turned inside out and again it's legal. There's only one way to win this match. Well, think about the fact that the woman who just clobbered our referee is on the payroll of the minority owner of the of the company. That's a get out of jail free card if I've ever heard one. What the hell is that table made from? Is it freaking concrete crypt for goodness sakes? Unbelievable. Now Ruby Ray's bringing the the body bag into the ring, trying to capitalize on almost. Oh gosh, Heather Monroe, they're making her way to her feet. And oh! there it is, Soul Leader, that big spear by Ruby Rays, perfected in her time in the Santinos, and now pulling the official up. What? Well, what? pulling him up and taking him out. Jeez, this is this is lawlessness. There's no there's no reason. There's there's no official. Ruby Rays is just. Maybe this is Nico Marquez's plan to get the women's division canceled. He wants to bring Ruby Rays in here to just raise hell and. And lawlessness. And now, showing, showing off that, that Halston body bag, and then, you know, the referee, the official Scott Johnson, was just trying to keep somebody from getting seriously hurt in this thing. Here comes Heather oh, with a chair. Oh, wait here. 
Oh! oh. Throwing the high heat across the plate, caught. Ruby Ray's right in the head. You might want to go for the double, the double tap here, though, guys. They never stay down. The monsters never stay down in a horror movie. I'm surprised Houston's not jumping in there and picking Heather up. Yes, more. Oh, here comes Heather. She's getting up. Get that chair. In essence, a stake through the heart. Heather Monroe going to work. Take no chances. He said that one was for Nico. You can hear that deafening thud echoing off of the body of Ruby Rays, the equal opportunity assassin. And ironically, it's the assassin that's paying the ultimate price right now. Look at this, chair shot after chair shot. They're laying the body bag out, that Halston body bag, one size fits all. Look at that, the marabou feather zipper pull. Probably made of satin with rhinestones and glitter. The true handiwork of Halston Body and Heather Monroe working to get her opponent into this body bag and seal it up. If Heather's able to seal her up in there, I bet Nico Marquez is wondering what he's got to do to take Heather Monroe out. Oh, wait a minute. CeCe Chanel. What? CeCe Chanel. And she, she seems conflicted here, guys. Yeah, the look on her face. She looks so upset. What's the... What are you doing here? She, oh, what? she clocks Halston Body. Cece must be. Is she under the the directives of Nico Marquez? She looks so tortured. Uh oh, she, she didn't look. You know, she looked. Oh no, no, oh. that spray right into the eyes of the killer bay. You know, I mean, it was it was tempting to take oh. when when Nico Marquez offered contracts. The women. Of, of championship oh. wrestling from only two. Oh my goodness. Oh, no. oh my God. Back from the grave. I told you they never stay down. CC Chanel accepted the contract and now she's doing the bidding. And Nico Marquez, you got to believe. CC Chanel just looking for an opportunity that presented itself, but you got to read the fine print. And now, meanwhile, in the ring, Ruby Rays, sometimes they come back. Oh, and here we go again. We saw this on Primetime Live. This will bury oh. anybody for good. Nasty, nasty business there. And I guess business is good for the equal opportunity assassin. And oh, after no. so much fight, I don't think there's anything left, guys, after that. Who could possibly? It absolutely looks like Ruby Reyes has what? added another body to the body count. Oh, now it's, oh, Ruby telling Cece Chanel to get the referee. Oh, how convenient that she's out there to do that. We should have known Nico Marquez had a backup plan. Just in case Ruby Reyes started getting Getting beat up a little bit. Gotcha. She's got to zip it all the way up, though. Heather's not all the way inside this bag yet. She's starting to come to life a little. Well, not yet, but there, Halston Body isn't there to give any assistance. And she got absolutely spiked on her head. And now, here we go. It's zipped up now. And the referee has been woken up. No. And oh. calls for the bell. Here is your winner, Ruby Rays. Ruby Rays gets it done, but the deck was stacked here, guys. Truly, this hired hand of Nico Marquez, the equal opportunity assassin, she certainly earned that payday. What a fun Halloween spooktacular, courtesy of Championship Wrestling, and the fun continues next week with you, Timeless One. You have your first title defense there, champ. Well, you aren't wrong there, Bimbo, and I feel sorry for the poor soul that has to take the defeat at the hands of Levi Shapiro next week. Well, we will see if it is trick or treat for the timeless one next week. Thank you so much for watching, wrestling fans. The proceeding has been a presentation of the United Wrestling Network.